Hello and welcome back again Coffee Beans. This is Agricultural Machinery and Equipments. Definition of Terms. S. SAE Viscosity Numbers. Simplified Viscosity Ratings of Oil Based on Sebolt Viscosity. Safety Device. Mechanism or an arrangement for the specific purpose of improving the degree of personal safety for the operator and others involved during the normal operation and servicing of a portable farm auger. Safety Devices. A ladder safety device is any device. Other than a cage or well. Designed to eliminate or reduce the possibility of accidental falls and which may incorporate such features as life belts. Friction brakes and sliding attachments. Safety sign. A visual alerting device in the form of a decal, label, placard, or other making such as an embossing, stamping, etching, or other process that advises the observer of the nature and degree of the potential hazard that can cause injury or death. Sanders. They have either belts or discs that are used as sanding surfaces. The material to be finished is fed against the sanding surfaces. Sebolt viscosimeter, a container with calibrated outlet tube for determining the viscosity of liquids. Scouring, shedding, a soil tool reaction in which soil slides over the surface of the tillage tool without significant adhesion. Scraper, components which scrapes the soil adhering to the concave side of the disc. Screening, the isolating of desired seed by a mechanical device. Where the desired seed is carried over the device and the undesired material passes through it. This function is not employed in modern combines, except where rotary second cleaners and dirt, weed screens are used in elevators. Grain pans, and auger troughs, screw, an externally threaded fastener capable of being inserted into holes and assemble parts, of mating with performed internal thread or forming its own thread, and of being tightened or released by torquing the head. Sealed bearing, a bearing which is lubricated and sealed at the factory and which cannot be lubricated during service. Secondary braking system, a braking system used for stopping a machine in the event of a malfunction in the operation or control of the service braking system. Secondary tillage, tillage, following primary tillage, which are designed to control weed growth and to create specific soil surface configurations before seeding. Seedbed conditioner, a combination secondary tillage implement for final seedbed preparation. Typical purpose is to smooth and the firm the soil surface for flat planting. Seedbed preparation tillage operation. This is shallow operation intended to prepare the seedbed or make the soil suitable for planting. This includes weed control and structural improvement for germination and early growth. Seed delivery rate. Amount of seeds that can be planted per unit area. Seed drill. A type of power tractor driven seeder which drills and deposit the seeds at a specified rate and depth and in narrow equal spaced rows. Self-propelled agricultural machine. An implement designed with integral power unit to provide both mobility and performing agricultural operations. Self-propelled beet harvester, a self-propelled machine which digs and conveys sugar beets to an attached bin or into an accompanying truck or wagon. Self-propelled combine, a self-propelled machine for harvesting a wide variety of grain crops. Self-propelled cotton picker, a self-propelled machine for collecting cotton from open bowls on the stock usually consisting of picking heads equipped with revolving spindles or other picking means. Self-propelled equipment, equipment that is conveyed by its own power source. Self-propelled forage harvester, a self-propelled machine which gathers and chops forage crops. Self-propelled hay baler, a self-propelled machine which picks up and compresses loose hay into compact bales and secures them with wire or twine. Self-propelled high clearance sprayer, a self-propelled machine which carries a storage tank. Pump and spray heads for spraying crops which require high clearance. Self-propelled machine, having one or more units which propel and operate the machine. Designed to carry out agricultural operations while on the move. Self-propelled windrower, a self-propelled machine which cuts and gathers standing hay or grain into uniform rows for drying and pickup. Semi-integral mounted implement, a direct connected implement wherein the front implement is connected to the tractor while the furrow wheel supports the rear end of the implement. Semi-mounted implement, an implement which is partially mounted on the tractor and partially carried on wheels during operation and or transport. Semi-pneumatic wheel, a narrow vertical wheel with a flexible semi-pneumatic tire to resist soil accumulation. Separated gang cultivator, implement consisting of tool bars that extend across the top of the rows, which allow lateral adjustments of the tools for different row spacing. Separating, the isolating of detached seed, small debris, and unthreshed material from the bulk. Separating cylinder or rotor, defined as for threshing cylinder or rotor, except that the terms, separating, and, separated, replace, threshing, and, threshed. Service brake, the primary braking system used for decelerating and stopping wheel motion of the machine. Service braking system, the primary system used for retarding and stopping a machine. Seven pin connector, a standardized wire harness connector used to connect hard wiring on a self-propelled machine to hard wiring on an attached implement for the purpose of controlling lights or other electrically powered equipment on the attached machine. 
shaft, is a member, usually of circular cross section, which supports the gears, sprockets, wheels, rotors, etc., and which is subjected to torsion and to transverse and axial loads acting singly or in combination. Shaft angle, the angle between meshing bevel gear axes, also. The sum of the two pitch angles. Shaft horsepower, power delivered at the engine crankshaft. This term is commonly used instead of brake horsepower to express output large marine engines. Shaft power, power required to drive the pump shaft. Shank, a structural member primarily used for attaching a tillage tool to a beam or a standard. Shaper, is ordinarily used for finishing flat or partly curved surfaces of metal pieces few in number and not over 305 mm or 610 mm long. Shear blocks, or clods. The blocks of soil which are sheared loose from the main soil mass by tillage tool action. Shear surfaces. Failure surfaces occurring where the soil has sheared. Shelling efficiency. The ratio of weight of the shelled corn kernels collected at all outlets. To the total corn kernel input of the sheller. Expressed in percent. Shelling recovery. Ratio of weight of shelled corn kernels collected at the main outlet. To the total weight of the corn kernel input of the sheller. Expressed in percent. Shield. A guard that. Alone or with other parts of the machine. Provides protection from the sides covered. Shield or cover. Protective device designed and fitted so that alone or with other parts of the machine. They prevent the dangerous par being reached from the side or sides covered. Short drawbar position. A position intended to connect non-PTO driven equipment that applies a high vertical load to the drawbar. Shovel. A spade shaped. B pointed soil working tool. Which is used for various plows talks. Cultivators. Grain drills. And soil scarifies. Shredder. A mechanical device used to break waste materials into small pieces. Shrouded sprayer. A sprayer apparatus consisting of a boom sprayer in which the boom and the area being sprayed are enclosed within a cover. Shutter. Device for covering an air inlet or outlet that when shut. Presents air from passing. Sickle. A cutting mechanism which uses a reciprocating cutter. Sickle frequency. The number of cycles which the sickle makes in a given period of time. One cycle is the full movement of the sickle in one direction and its return to the starting point. Sickle stroke. The distance that a point on the sickle travels with respect to the center line of a guard in one half cycle. Side angle. The angle. In the soil surface plane. Between a tool axis and a line which is perpendicular to the direction of travel. Side force. Side draft. The horizontal component of pole perpendicular to the line of motion. Side gauge wheel. Single or dual wheels located on one or both sides of the furrow opener. Typical assembled width is 200 to 500 millimeters or 7.9 to 19.7 inches, which may be excessive for closely spaced row seating units on drills. Side valves, SV. Arrangement of valves wherein the intake and exhaust valves are located on one side of the cylinder block. Simple tillage tools. Tillage tools which present a reasonable constant boundary area to the soil. Single covering disc. A sharpened, flat or concave disc blade. Positioned upright and at an angle to the direction of travel at the side of the seated furrow. Single disc applicator, similar to a single disc opener but used for fertilizer deposition beside or between seed furrows. Single disc opener, an upright, flat or slightly concave disc blade with a sharpened circumference. Single pass application, an application method where the applicator applies one pass over the treatment area. Single phase, has one voltage applied to the motor in the shape of sine wave. Single rib press wheel, a wide. Single semi-pneumatic or steel wheel with a center circumferential rib to concentrate soil firming directly over the seated furrow. Single unit machine. A self-propelled machine not coupled to trailed equipment. Sinkage. Deformation of the supporting surface normal to the direction of travel of the traction or transport devices. Siphon nozzle. A pneumatic atomizer in which an air stream aspirates and atomizes liquid from a reservoir located beneath the nozzle. Slip sinkage. Sinkage. In addition to static sinkage. That results from the motion of a traction or transport device. Sizing. Process of classifying into sizes according to criteria that may or may not be recognized or accepted by the industry. Skid. Horizontal member on the ground in supporting a portable building. Equipment. Feeder. Etc. Skid plate. A rectangle plate of various dimensions with an upturned leading edge to slide over the soil surface. Furrow openers may have individual skid plates fastened onto both sides or large wide skid plate with a center opening to fit around the opener. Skid steer loader, vehicle with front end loader, commonly used for scraping and loading manure or feed, steered by alternate braking of drive wheels on either side. Slide pump sprayer, a sprayer consisting of a telescoping pump operated by both hands. A spray nozzle is mounted on the outlet end of the pump. The inlet of the pump is attached to a line leading to the spray solution container. Slip, ratio of the difference between the speed of the pulley or belt and wheels or track with load. To the speed without load. Smooth coulter, 
a flat circular disc blade with a sharpened circumference. Snow thrower, a powered machine or attachment designed for throwing snow. Soil abrasion, the scratching, cutting, or abrading of materials caused by the action of soil. Soil additive applicator, a machine used to apply, or to apply and incorporate soil additives by means of tillage. Soil additive incorporator, a machine used to mechanically incorporate or mix material into the soil. Soil adhesion, the sticking of soil to objects such as tillage tools or wheels. Soil compaction, the act of reducing the specific volume of soil. Soil cultivation, shallow tillage operation performed to promote growth of crop plants by creating a soil condition conducive to aeration. Infiltration, and moisture conservation or to pest control. Soil cutting, separation of a soil mass by a slicing action. Soil engaging components, seeding machine mechanical components that actively engage and penetrate the soil during the seeding operation, which are designed for or used to accomplish seeding functions are the placement or incorporation of fertilizers and pesticides. Soil failure, the alternation or destruction of a soil structural condition by mechanical forces such as in shearing, compression, or tearing, soil heaving, the lifting or swelling of soil resulting from natural forces such as freezing, soil injection, the mechanical placement of a chemical beneath the soil surface with a minimum disturbance of the soil. Soil monolith, a vertical section through the soil preserved with resin and mounted for display. Soil opener, a tillage tool, that is disc, knife, runner, used to slice through the soil and create an opening for the insertion of material that is seeds. Pesticides, fertilizers, soil reaction, soil response to the application of mechanical forces. Soil roller, a rotating implement which pulverizes. Firms are smooth soil by crushing or compacting. Soil shatter. Pulverization. The general fragmentation of a soil mass resulting from the action of tillage forces. Soil sliding. The sliding of soil across surface. Soil sliding angle. The angle at any point on the surface of a tool between the soil sliding path and a horizontal contour line constructed through the surface of the tool. Soil sliding path. Path along which one element of soil slides across a tillage tool. Soil sliding path length. The length of the path along tillage tool upon which soil slides. Soil tool geometry. Configuration of the soil tool boundary wherein the overall shape is usually oriented with the direction of travel of the tool in the soil surface. Soil working surfaces. Portions of tillage tools which are designed to be in contact with soil. Solid cone nozzle or full cone nozzle. A cone atomizer having cores or veins designed to direct a significant quantity of liquid into the center region of the spray pattern. Solid wheel, a narrow vertical wheel of various materials. Sonic nozzle, a pneumatic or vibratory atomizer in which energy is imparted to the liquid at frequencies below 20 kHz. Sound cutting, a cutting free from rot. Pith, shake, and wane, texture is not considered. It will admit sound knots. Bird pecks, stain, streaks, are their equivalent. Season checks not materially impairing the strength of cutting. Pin, shot, and spot wormholes. Space application, a dispersion of liquid, gas or dry particles in a confined air space. Special self-propelled agricultural machine. An implement designed with integral power unit with front drive axle and major mass on front axle. Specific draft, unit draft. Draft force of an implement per unit area of tilled cross section. Specified fuel consumption. Quantity of fuel consumed by an engine on the basis of per horsepower hour. Speed ratio. Ratio of the angular velocities of the pulleys making no allowance for slip and creep. Spike tooth harrow. Implement consisting of long spikes attached rigidly to crossbars and staggered to attain maximum stirring and raking of soil. Spindle, is a short shaft. Spinning, the operation of shaping thin metal by to flow in some predetermined shape according to the design of the dies. Spiral plow, implement which consists two horizontal power-driven spiral flanged shafts which rotate vertically. Split boot, a divided shoe in a double disc opener or in a runner opener for deposition of seed in one side of the furrow and fertilizer in the opposite side of the furrow. Split narrow press wheels. Two narrow, vertical wheels usually steel, which are closely spaced on a common axle, with flat or inward or outward angled surfaces, to concentrate soil firming on each side of the seed position. Spool, flanged tube mounted on gang axle and placed between two discs to prevent the lateral movement of the discs on the shaft. Spot treatment, an application of a chemical to a small restricted area, usually to control the spread of a pest. Spray classification, classification of sprays by droplet size. Spray rate. The amount of spray liquid applied per unit treated for area treatment. Liter per hectare, or galoon per acre, for space treatment. Milliliter per cubic meter, or oz, 1000 cubic feet. For individual units. Liter per plant, milliliter per animal, or gallon per tree. Sprayed width per nozzle. The effective width sprayed by a single nozzle. For broadcast spraying, 
It is the nozzle spacing, for band spraying. It is the band width, for row crop spraying. It is the row width divided by number of nozzles per row. Spring, is an elastic body or resilient member whose primary function is to deflect or distort under load. Spring covering tines. Multiple spring steel wire upright tines with flexible mountings. Tines are positioned in various spatial arrangements to redistribute loosened soil behind the furrow opener. Spring tooth harrow. Implement consisting of long, flat and curved teeth made of spring steel. Spring tine cultivator. Multiple spring steel wire upright tines. Each typically 3 to 10 mm, 1 8 to 3 8 inch, in diameter and coiled at the upper end for flexible mounting. Tine length varies from 250 to 400 mm, 10 to 16 inches. It smoothens and loosens soil. Spur gear. A tooth wheel having external radial teeth. Square bars. Are bar materials from 1 quarter inch up to 2 inches that are useful for a number of projects that involve such operations as forging. Peering. Drilling and tapping. Stabilizer bolts. The bolts that are used for adjusting clearance between hitch bale and implement yoke. Staggered discs row cleaner. The leading edge of one disc blade precedes the other. Standard. Upright support which connects the shank to tillage implement frame. Standby pump. A pump designed to operate only upon failure of a regular service pump. Static test horizontal loading. The application of a horizontal static load to the rear. Front or side of the ROPS. S-tine cultivator. A flexible S-shaped shank with a sweep. Chisel. Tooth. Or shovel. Used individually or in a ganged arrangement two or more. To loosen soil in the row area to a depth of less than 100 mm 3.9 inches. Stopping distance. The distance traveled between the point at which the braking control is first moved and the point at which the machine comes to a stop. Stopping time. The time elapsed between the first of the movement of the braking control and the instant at which the machine comes to a stop. Straight bevel gears. Bevel gears whose teeth are straight but the sides are tapered so that they would intersect the axis at a common point called the pitch cone apex if extended inward. Straw. Straw is the harvest residue discharged from the separating devices. Straw and chaff total harvest residue, spreader. Devices for spreading material from both the separator and cleaning device. Straw chopper. Device for cutting material discharged from the separator. A straw chopper may or may not spread the material. Straw length. Cut plant's length measured from the point of cut to the tip of the panicle. Straw outlet. The outlet where the threshed straw is left in case of the hold on type thresher. Straw spreader. Device for spreading the material discharged from the separator without further cutting. Straw straightener. A spring steel rod tine. Typically 3 to 10 mm, 1 8 to 3.8 inches, in diameter. Coiled or flexibly mounted at the upper end. Tine length usually varies from 250 to 400 mm, 10 to 16 inches. A single tine may be used to align surface residue in the row area with the direction of machine travel. Straw walker area. The product of the width of the straw walker body. And the length of an individual walker. Expressed in square meters to the nearest hundredths. Straw walker length. The distance from the front to the rear of the walker. Expressed in meters to the nearest hundredth. If there are adjustable sections at the rear of the walkers. They should be in the fully extended position. Straw waterer. A demand waterer in which livestock are presented a more or less vertical metal tube connected to a water delivery system. Animal sucks water through the tube of straw. Strip rotary tiller. One or more powered vertical assemblies of several flat. L-shaped blades typically 50 to 100 mm 2 to 4 inches wide by. 6 to 12 mm 1 quarter to 1 half inch thick. Radially attached to hubs on a powered shaft. Are sharpened for cutting. Strip tillage. System in which only isolated bands of soil is tilted. Stroke. One of a series of recurring movements of a piston or the distance of such movement, length of the piston travel. Stroke to bore ratio. The length of stroke divided by the diameter of bore. Stubble cultivation. This consists of shallow operations carried out shortly after the harvest to clear the field of weeds and crop residue and to restore the soil structure. Stubble length. The length of the straightened plant stock still attached to the ground after the crop has been harvested expressed in millimeters. Stub runner opener. A truncated or shorter version of the runner opener. Typically 200 mm, 7.8 inches or less in length. Submersible pump. A vertical turbine pump with the pump and the motor closed coupled and designed to be installed underground. As in the case of deep well pump. Subsoiler. A primary tillage implement for intermittent tillage at depths sufficient to shatter compacted subsurface layers. Subsoilers are equipped with widely spaced shanks either inline or staggered on a V-shaped frame. Subsoiling is commonly conducted with the shank pads corresponding to subsequent crop rows. Strong frame and shanks are required for deep operation. Subsoiling. Deep tillage. Below 350 mm for the purpose of loosening soil for root growth and or water movement. Subsoil ripper. A shank with a replaceable tooth like which is set at a lift angle. 
for loosening soil in the row area to a depth of more than 350 mm 13.8 inches. Subsystem. Crop production. An ordered sequence of field machine operations performed in producing and harvesting a particular crop. Suction. Pressure below atmospheric pressure. Suction head. Exist when the total suction head is above atmospheric pressure. Suction lift. Exist when the total suction is below atmospheric pressure. Surface aerator. A partially submerged impeller whose action results in vigorous agitation and air entrainment. Swagging. A force and impact which causes the metal to flow in some predetermined shape according to the design of the dies. Swath. Effective width. The center-to-center -center distance between overlapping broadcast applications. Swath spacing. The lateral distance between the aircraft centerlines overlapping broadcast applications. Sweep. A type of cultivator shovel. Which is wing-shaped. Sweep row cleaner. A wing-shaped sweep shovel of 250 mm, 9.8 inches, or more in width with low lift angle and shank-mounted residue deflectors to remove surface residue and or soil from the row area. The width of the cleaned row, strip depends on the width of the sweep and the setting or position of the residue deflectors. Swing away hopper. Powered hopper which swings to one or both sides to clear a driving lane through the normal operating position. Swirl chamber nozzle, whirl chamber nozzle. Whirl nozzle. Centrifugal pressure nozzle. A cone spray atomizer in which a chamber is located between the swirl generating device and the discharge orifice. Swivel arm distributor. This outlet has a valve and two short arms of gate pipe which swivel upward from the top of riser. Symbol. Visually perceptible figure used to transmit information independent of language. Symmetrically mounted. Mounted at the same height and at the same distance from center. System. Machines. An arrangement and use of two or more machines to achieve a desired output. Hope it helps. Thank you again for listening. Please like, subscribe and comment your suggestion on topics you want to hear. Links of previous topics are stated in the description box below. See you in the next part. Bye. Rar.